I, I don't think you understand causal overdetermination, Mr. Hijab. When... Okay, so to respond to this very clearly, your candle example with overdetermination, causal overdetermination, it's complete, it's disanalogous to what we are talking about. Why? If you have two candles that come together to light a flame, you will have a bigger flame, you see. If... I, I don't think you understand causal overdetermination, Mr. Hijab. When okay. two matches light a flame simultaneously or light a candle, they don't each contribute 50% to the lighting of the candle, they are each 100% sufficient for the effect, but they act concurrently with each other. Uh, Causal overdetermination is not incoherent, Mr. Hijab. Imagine a candle being lit by two simultaneous matches, each of which is sufficient to um, illuminate the candle in the uh, that the operations of the trinity toward the external uh world are undivided and therefore undertaken by all three persons at once now but i think that is very plausible with respect to the doctrine of creation that the three persons act uh, in concert with each other to create the world um so they're all responsible for the creation. And if they're responsible, they can only be responsible either in a partial sense or in a full sense. They can't be responsible both in a part, uh, in, a, in a partial sense and a full sense. You said co uh, causal uh, overdetermination. I'm sorry to say you have not answered the question. The question is, can you have two subjects that are fully, fully responsible one, to a degree of 100% fully responsible for the creation of one thing in its entirety for example say that no. why don't you say that the father is not the creator he is a partial creator he is a one-third creator he's a 33 percent creator the father is not fully responsible for the creation of the universe is that correct no. i i don't think you understand causal over determination mr hijab when okay. two matches light a flame simultaneously or light a candle they don't each contribute 50 percent to the lighting of the candle, they are each 100% sufficient for the effect, but they act concurrently with each other. Uh, and so in the act of creation, I see absolutely no problem with saying that there is a concurrence here of the action of the three persons of the Trinity to produce this creative effect. Okay, so to respond to this very clearly, your candle example with overdetermination, causal overdetermination, it's complete, it's disanalogous to what we are talking about. Why? If you have two candles that come together to light a flame, you will have a bigger flame, you see. What yeah. is required for the lighting of a candle, what is a necessary condition for the lighting of a candle, is not achieved with the lighting of two candles. What is required for the creation of the universe is not achieved with the creation with, with two creators creating the same universe so i'm saying it's disanalogous because we're talking about the flame and the flame here is a product of the two lights that you've talked about which is a bigger flame i'm saying i i don't think you understand causal over determination mr hijab when that there can be cases of causal over determination where three agents work together to bring about a single effect 